Uh, so anyways, I'm, when I'm going out to the new farm to set up the hunt for the afternoon, I, there's a triangle of woods where this, this stuff, all these, this sign was, there's a Creek bed on the other side of it. And then, um, there's like another triangle of woods across from that one a little bit. So just imagine like a field shaped like a V and there's triangle of woods, triangle of woods, Creek. So you got like this pinch point. Yeah. Yeah. And frankly, two of them. And so I'm sitting there and I set myself up to where all those rubs in the woods are to my left and I'm facing the other V of trees because there's a scrape on one corner or one side of it near the corner. And I, you know, I put some, some Tink 69 out there just hoping somebody's working that line. So I'm sitting there and I text Braden and I hear off to my right. There's a little forky up on the top of the hill that had winded me because my wind was going that direction, mm-hmm. and he just walks off real slow. I'm like, dang it. I hope something wasn't, something else wasn't up there with him. So um, five minutes, m- maybe five minutes. I don't even know. I hear trot, you know, steps coming through the woods to my left. So there's a, there's a very clear trail, and I knew if they are going to come out of there, that's where they would come through. So I hear those steps, and I look. And then I turn to where I am like first, the first thing that comes out of that, I'm in line (laughs) of sight to take it. So anyways, I'm sitting there and I turn and there's a hay bale possibly 15 yards away. And so that is going to be directly behind whatever steps out. A doe. Oh. Um, I keep oh. forgetting parts of this story. Oh, yeah, this is crazy. All right, so I'm I'm texting Liz. I'm like, here's where I'm sitting. I just saw a, you know a, a little forky up at the top of the hill, and she's like, well, that's the exact spot. I think I saw a doe the other day. <laughs> just shot her. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, that quick. <laughs> she's like, what? And like, she's yeah, dead. Just shot her. And so I, I shoot this doe. Decent sized doe. I have never, and this is gruesome, I have never seen a deer throw this much blood in all directions, but mm-hmm. she was absolutely gushing. Turns, comes directly at me. <laughs> I have my rifle up to prevent her from running over me. Wow. She, no she sees that and bolts into the woods. Where I'm sitting there, I'm like, I'm going to give it a few minutes just to make sure. I heard her bolting through the woods, but I never heard like a the crash. crash. Yeah. I'm like she has to be dead. There is no way. I'm. I can see, That's like crazy. someone went through with a spray can of red paint, mm-hmm. and um, so I get up. I walk over to where she was hit. Uh, you know, I bring up the hay bale because I could see where my bullet went through her and hit the hay bale and like blew a hole in it. Mm. Um, so I f- I follow her blood trail in through those woods. She kind of zigzags back and forth, goes almost to the property line. I was like, no, no, mm. she's going to go over this cow field, and I got to go get permission to get her. But then she comes back, and she goes down the hill to the creek bed, crosses the creek bed. Now, I am still seeing, like, murder scene amounts of blood. Wow. Shocked yeah. that yeah. she got this far. Yeah. And I get up to the other – I crest the other side of the creek – and I hear a commotion, and I'm like, oh, "There's no way this deer is still alive." In my head, there, there is, there's no way she's still alive. So, I just I stand there for a second. I look over towards the direction I'm hearing the sound. I get by, my binos up, and I see deer body moving. I'm like, "You got to be kidding me!" After last weekend, this is really what's happening right now stands up and his antlers are sticking up over the top of this grass and I'm like oh my god <laughs> oh my oh my gosh and there's there's like six inch trees on both sides of me so I immediately set up on the one to my left for a standing shot I am not a great shooter this is just what was afforded to me mm-hmm. so I get myself set up on this tree and I am staring at him through my scope and I don't have a great line of sight because this it's like prairie back there. The, some of the stuff is seven feet tall. And he is thrashing around. My first thought is that he's on that doe. That's where she crashed down. He's over there messing with her. Um, and 
so I'm just waiting, watching him. And then I realized like there's a, gr- like a cut through in the grass to my right. And so I sneak down into the creek bed to the other tree and come back up. And How get far ready. is he? 20. Wow. Oh, whoa. Holy smokes. Maybe. You crept up on him at 20. I was shocked he did not see me. I'm shocked. I've So I've got the map on, on where everything was and where I was standing when I shot he's him. He's just where so he in his up. own world. Yeah, he's just. He was I, thinking with his other brain probably. I'm, <laughs> right. I'm other head. kind of yeah. thinking he might have bred her right there before she came up the hill to me. Yeah. Maybe. Um, Just like where everything's at. So I'll show you all the map of all this stuff and where he was. So he's he's on the same side of the creek as me, but the creek bends around. So he starts coming towards me, and I'm set up on this other tree. He comes towards me, and he's probably 15 yards, kind of quartered a little bit, but it's almost a head-on Quartered shot. Quartered two, yeah. right? Yeah. And I just pop. I'm like, I'm not giving him a chance to get any closer than this. Yeah. Bang. Um, Did you Shoulder him? Bridge so shot or what? Straight straight through the front of his chest here, okay. like up under the shoulder. Yeah. And then it came out right behind okay. the other Jeez. side shoulder. Do you miss the shoulders? Yeah, I didn't hit That's it. That's great. No bone. Yeah. <laughs> like, so much so, for not a good shooter. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, Thanks, I mean, guys, I'm not kidding 15 yards. It had to be. I have never been this close mm. to, a, to a, a deer of that size, period. But for me to be standing and – in his kitchen and him come right at me. Yeah. Uh, that no narked on him. Dude, I was a mess. So he he doesn't go very far, and it's almost like he lays down. Yeah. So uh, I was nervous because he didn't run very far. He didn't crash down. I didn't hear the, you know, the sometimes they'll make when they're dying. And so I was just, I was just nervous. Mm-hmm. I backed out, texted you. Yep. So I had not confirmed he was dead at that point. I texted my brother-in-law. He's at the farm. He's in a suit. Just got out of church. I'm like, dude, I, I need help. I I need to make sure this deer is down, but I need someone with eyes from a higher point so I can go in and, you know, if I bump him, you see which way he goes. And so I, I literally take my pants and jacket off so that he has something to cover his suit up. And he goes out and stands on the one side of the hill, the creek valley, and I go to I go and creep down the creek bed to where basically to where I shot him and then walk up and start cutting through this prairie. Find the doe. I found where she was and then I'm I just like I'm snaking my way through really quietly and carefully and come up I can see where there's a depression and then I see his rack and I'm like <laughs> Oh my gosh, dude, he's on the ground. He's, yep. he's down. And give him the old eye poke test. And I, I, I mean, it still doesn't feel real. Like no. it, it all happens so fast, so intense. 